You might be wanting to go ahead and convert your physical SIM card that you have within your iPhone right now to an eSIM or an electronic SIM. Now doing this is very easy. You will have to do this for the next iPhone 14s. The first thing you want to do though is see if your iPhone currently has the ability of actually doing an eSIM straight from your phone. Now within Apple's very own website, they actually mention the way to do this. So what you want to do first is you want to go inside of your iPhone settings and you want to go ahead and click on cellular. So in this case, I went into my iPhone settings here and I can go and click on cellular. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and see if you see a little option that says convert to eSIM. Now, when I look on my iPhone, I actually do not see that capability. So it kind of sucks. I don't have that kit, you know, thing yet. But what it should look like to you is something along the lines of this. So this is a screenshot from an iPad, but you might be able to see this little option down here that says convert to eSIM. If you see that and you're coming from your older iPhone, well, you should go ahead and click that. If you do not see that option on your iPhone, well, you won't be able to convert it straight from your iPhone to an eSIM here. Instead, what you will have to do is by following Apple's guidelines right here, it says if you don't see the convert to eSIM that option, your carrier doesn't support this option. So I have T-Mobile, that's why I didn't see it. If you have AT&T or Verizon, you may end up seeing it. Now, in order for you to fix this, you will have to contact your carrier. What we want to get from them is essentially a QR code. So here you can see in order for to continue on, you need to contact your provider, your cell provider, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, whoever it is, contact them and let them know you want to convert your SIM card to an eSIM and they should be able to send you something that looks along the lines of this. It is a QR code, it, this is a sample one, but it, they're essentially going to send you a QR code like this and now this is your SIM card. So now what you have to do is on your iPhone, let's say you get an iPhone 14, what you can do here is go ahead and grab your new iPhone, in this case it's an iPhone 14, and let's say you already went through the setup, you want to go ahead and click the add cellular plan right here. If you're going through your initial setup of your iPhone 14, I'm sure it's going to tell you to put in your SIM card, but what you want to do is click here, and you'll get into this specific panel, which will showcase to you, and it will allow you to basically scan that QR code. So now what you want to do is either you can scan the QR code by bringing this QR code above it, I'm not going to scan it, but it's going to bring it above it like this, and you'll basically be able to use that you know, SIM card or if you want to enter the details manually, you can click here and you can actually activate your SIM card by going this way. So you can type in, if you know this stuff from your SIM card, which it might tell you, you can type in all that information here. And what's going to happen is your older iPhone that basically has that SIM card, let's say it was this one, the SIM card will now be deactivated. As soon as you go ahead and I believe as soon as you set up an eSIM, your SIM, your SIM card will be deactivated from here. So that is essentially how to do it. Go inside of your iPhone settings, see if you see that option of you know converting to eSIM. If not, you will have to contact your cell provider and get that QR code from them. So it'll look something like this and or get that other details from them too. And then you'll basically be able to you know go through on from there and pretty much you know set up your SIM card to your new iPhone. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.